happening tomorrow, just a week into the school year, the city is closing its first school due to a COVID cluster. The teachers union says it highlights the need for the city to ramp up the frequency of testing. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports. Public School 79 on Madison Avenue and East 120th Street will not welcome students in person Monday. Instead, classes will be all virtual and stay that way until next Tuesday, the 28th. The Manhattan Borough President says there are 19 confirmed COVID cases, and the City Council Education Chair Mark Traeger says 45 others are quarantined. What about the parents who have to work? What's that plan B? What about the devices? What about the internet? The Department of Education says it's making sure each student will have a device and it will offer grab and go meals. A spokesperson adds the cases are among staff members and linked to an orientation that happened before school started. But in a letter to the mayor and school's chancellor Sunday, the United Federation of Teachers called for a rigorous weekly testing protocol. Currently, only 10% of a school's unvaccinated students and staffers are tested every two weeks. We truly believe that a remote option could reduce class size. It would also then increase social distancing. And the union says that less than half of the city's schools have had testing during this first week of school. Since the summer, the Manhattan Borough President, Public Advocate, and most council members, including Councilman Robert Holden, have been calling for a remote learning option. Let's not kid ourselves. It, it spreads. And um, now with um, cooler weather, we don't know what's going to happen. So you have to plan ahead. And unfortunately, DOE didn't do that, and the mayor didn't do it. In a statement responding to the union's request for more testing, the DOE said in part, we will continue to base our health and safety protocols off the guidance of our medical experts. In East Harlem, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.